Yeah. Weezy, I What's going on? So in today's video, I'll be uh, starting to strip down this parts motor I got. Um, but right now, I'm just going to be dropping the oil. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take the, if I can, get the um, fuck, uh, manifold off. And then I'll just start stripping it from the top down. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just, I got the engine hoist here, we're just going to jack it up a bit, and then what I'm going to do is uh, heat, the oil pa uh, heat the oil pan up with, that's if it's got oil, don't think it has a dipstick, but, right, so it turned out it didn't actually have any uh, oil in the oil pan there, so what I've done now is I'm just going to let the motor back down on the hoist, back that up a bit more, pull the... There we go. Except I'm one handed and with my left hand. Can't see. It's a bit bright, but there we go. Pull this engine hoist away. Um, so yeah, I can't really see the camera this morning because of the sun. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just take off the chains um, and then whatever stuff I take off I'll just put down there the um, rocket cover there didn't have any bolts in it well it's got one but it wasn't um, done up. wasn't done up so it came off stuff in the shed. Um, it's not a complete engine, it did have a bottom end knock, but I've got most of the parts. Uh, so I'll just take some of the little stuff off first. I haven't stopped, we got this back at like 7 o'clock at night last night, uh, so I haven't started working on it or anything. We just offloaded it, got it off the trailer and then just sat it out here. Uh, so I uh, sat it out here and, yeah, left it here overnight. Um, what I'll do now, though, is 7 o'clock at 13, I'll take off this side manifold, um, and then I'll probably bolt back, bolt the, uh, lifting points back on, just in case, because I have to move it again, because Dad doesn't want it there. Uh, Alright, so I'll get all my tools set up, and then we'll continue from there. Guys, I've decided to bring the motor inside. Um, that way we're out of the sun a bit, and um, you'll actually be able to see stuff. I'll just bring this jack in here. And shut the door. I'm going to get some lights going. Which is probably going to do nothing. You can kind of see, but there we go. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll just let this motor down. Um, I'll sit you here for a sec, just so I can get it to start going down slow. Cause I need to move it onto the tire more. But there we go. So let's go down real slow. Just a bit. There we go, that's better. So I got this motor as a parts motor for the um, VP. Let's get that flow on there, fuck. Hold up. Is that on this side? Oh, this side doesn't have a motor mount, that's why it tilts. I mean, just to realise it. Um, so I got this motor as a pass motor for the VP. Um, 
Is that? Ah, oh, that should be fine there. So, yeah, parts motor for the VP. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'll pull the injectors out of it because I need one of the injectors. Um, let this down. So I'm not really organised this morning. I woke up and like just like I want to go wrench on the the beer. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. There we go. So I'll start off by getting those manifolds out. Um, I've got some tools ready. So we'll just go over here. Okay, so here. Some by the looks of it, if you can see, I think that's a tw might be a 12, might be a 13. I just need to find what ones are what on my um, thing of sockets here. Just on up. Okay, so let's um, come away from the, the block now. Yeah, so once this is off, then I'll just stop recording. I want to try get, I'm going to get the intake and all that off first. Once I get the manifolds off, because then I can sort of see what I'm playing with, if you know what I mean. And here it comes. There we go. There. So there's one manifold out. Um, then you guess that gasket's actually not bad, hey? This motor had a bottom end knock before it. Got pulled out of the car. I think it was on a manual trans as well. It was in a VRU, I'm pretty sure. So that's off. What I'll do now is um, I'll, I've still got the fuel line on it, but I'll take this fuel rail off and I'll take the injectors out because that's what I need. Um, and then I'll pull the throttle body and all that off. And then I'll do the other side exhaust, get a power steering pump, all that off, and yeah. Right guys, so it's been, I'm not sure how long it's been, probably 10, 15 minutes. It's 10.02 right now. Um, I've take, I've pulled out the injectors and fuel rail. I got the other side um, manifold off. Uh, I've start, I put the lifting point back on. I've pulled out, I'm not sure if it's a filter or a regulator, that bit. Um, I pulled out the fuel lines, and then I'm just putting all, there the bolts, actually I need to keep them. Uh, these are the bolts for the fuel rail. Put them over here, because they're important, I need them. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll, these look like, actually, I had a 10 mil. oh here it is. While the camera's on, I'll just, I might do it here, if the, uh, drill's going to power. And angle. So the mix. It's kind of awkward doing this with one with one hand, but so this one. And I'm right-handed, and I'm holding the dual with my left hand. So there's a little bolt down there. Yep. Keep going. Through. Try to get. Oh. That one's rounded out inside. Um. So yeah, I'll do that. Right now it's 10:04. I'll see how far I can get in like 10 minutes. Well, I've got a little bit done. It is 10:15. Um. The, this bolt here. If you can see, and that bolt there, they're rounded out, so I can't get the manifold off yet. So, um, I just pulled the throttle body off there, and i just been pulling, so I pulled some more hoses. Um, what I'm up to now, 
I don't think this bearing's much better than the one in, if you can hear. Um, it's not much better than the one that's actually in the VP. Um, it might just need tighten down a little bit, okay, I don't know. Um, but I think it's the actual tensioner itself in mine that makes that knocking sound. Um, so, to get this off, there's a bolt down here, a bolt, oh, where was it? There. There's a bolt behind here, but I don't have anything to go in there. So, I'm going to just try rattle gun the bolts off of the power steering pulley. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I'm kind of pissed about that, because I want to get that intake off. Because then I can't get the heads off, because these bolts are in here. So, what I'll do now, so that's a 10mm, 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 10mm. I think there's actually a... Ooh. That's not that bad. Um so it's really sticky, I didn't know it smells fucked but um if you can see, there's a bolt. Where is it? It's just here, tip of my fingers. So you actually have to get the power steering pulley off to get to it. And then to get the, actually no. You might be able to get the head off, just cause that's still connected to the head as long as it's not connected anywhere else on the block. Um. I'll get these heads off. They still do have a little bit of oil in them. Not too worried about it though. Just gotta find it. Actually, I might have a socket here. That's that size. Um, still on my dad's sockets because mine. Just... Wait a minute. Oh, right there. On. Nah, alright, I'm gonna need, I've got a homemade breaker bar somewhere. It's just the Bunnings, um, stubby, stubby socket type thing. But not in there. Um, oh, up here. It's just a Bunnings stubby socket, but it's literally bulletproof. Um. And you just get your bar. Oh, and get your socket. Take your socket off here. Put it on your. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this with the camera. There we go. Make sure it's gonna be. Alright, that's the wrong way. Alright, sweet. I'd laugh if this breaks like the one time I actually try and use it. Because I've had this stubby socket thing for like literally two years. And it has never failed me. Oh, you fucking rocky. See if I can... I don't know, I'll just set this up here for a minute. I'm not sure what you can see. Uh, so what I'll do is... Put it in here. Oh, wait a minute. Hunt, they are up tight. Oh. No. Alright. So. Pull that out if I can. It's stuck between the rockers. Um, from here on. Grab this camera real quick. Alright. Not sure what I'm going to do. I might. Um, try. I think it's timing chain this. Um, I don't know a huge amount about the Buick motors. Um, that's an 8mm which I have on my smalls. Oh shit, it's around the corner. Um, let's find 8mm. Fuck. Um, 6, 8, this one here. And then my 9mm's off somewhere else. <laughs> and my 10mm's on a little ratchet. 
glass in there. There's your oatmeal. There's your 9mm. And then 10mm. Sweet as. This is spring loaded, so hopefully it doesn't come off and just peg at my hand. Oh, that's really it's got a lot of tension on it. I feel like that spring's just going to come back and hit me. Shouldn't be that bad, though, right? <laughs> oh, it shouldn't be that bad. Comes back and fucking cuts my skin open. There we go, it wasn't even that bad. Don't know what you're on about. So if anyone needs Buick parts, shoot me a message. <laughs> you can have anything off you that you want. Um, if I get my 20 bucks back that I could have paid for the motor, I'll be happy. I'll advertise some of this shit on Facebook and see what I get for it. Um, but... That's a bitch that I can't get that manifold. Those are fucking rounded out, hey. Bit disappointed there, bot. Um, so I'll stop it here, and then, I don't know, it's time. 10.22. Um, I'll just keep stripping down whatever I can. So I've got to move the motor back outside later, because uh, Dad doesn't want it anywhere near the shed. So I'll probably go and put it down near the tyre shed if I can get the hoist on the fucking grass with this fucking however many kilo bit of shit it is. Um, but yeah, actually now I'll pull the plugs out because they might actually be some alright plugs. Done yeah? Thank you. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this block is crusty. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be worth anything. Um, but what I'll do is, if I can, get these plugs out, get that, we'll try to get this head off. Um, but to get the head off, the intake might have to come with it. That's if I can even crack the bolts on it. Um, but yeah, I'll see how I'll go. I'm gonna head off right, and then I'm like, wait a minute, there's the lifting point, and there's the head. The lifting point's connected to the head, and the motor's gotta go outside. So, all these are like cracked open, ready to go. That, I pulled that one out. That's cracked, that's cracked, that's not cracked. I haven't attempted the other side yet. And then I start going, I'm like, oh, wait, I gotta go outside. Fuck. So, Guess we're hooking the motor up once again, boys. Um, go let this down for the bulk. Right. That should be good there. Come on, can't. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of pushing this motor around because it weighs so much, especially trying to get it in and out of the shed because there's a bum. Oh, you fucking rat. There we go. Alright. So, once again, lifting the motor up to take it outside. How fucking great. Oh. Well. Um, and then I've got to push it along grass. Push a big fuck off engine stand across grass. How great. And I couldn't even get it into the shed without it skipping onto the driveway and getting stuck on the driveway and digging a fucking deep ass hole. So, let's get this up in the air. Hopefully that head doesn't come off with these loose bolts, hey? Then we'll be. Fucked. Today, Junior, come on. Up you fucking go. Can't. All right, that's good enough for my standards. Let's go. Oh, you joking? It's caught on the fucking mat. All right, that's fucking. And now this is where you won't be able to see anything. Ugh. See, that's what I mean. Just dug a big fuck off hole. All right, 
Let's sit up here for a minute. What could, actually, that might be a good, good stand, hey? All right, just give me a sec. Hopefully, it can't knock the there. And he's almost died, holy shit. All right. I should probably be doing this two-handed because I have a bump. I have another bump. Fuck, and I have grass. You know what, fuck it. Let's just, like, put it... I don't know. Where should we put it? Uh, up under the tree. Guys, it came to it. I had to get the right on to move it. This thing just was would not move across the grass. It got to about there and then it wouldn't go anywhere. So I haven't tried towing it yet, so we'll see how this goes. Oh fuck! A bit wobbly, but we'll go sort of around a bit more because that's trying to swing out, so. Oh, that's good. Actually, I've got an no idea. Switch the sides of the D shackle. Give me a minute. She's a bit wobbly, but I think that will do there. So let's grab our tire, jack this up a bit. Oh. Fuck, man, that mower does not like pulling that motor. Holy shit! Kept trying to um. This thing's got like uh, bearing issues for the um. Because it's a forwards and reverse pedal like that. And the bearing for it's got a bit of issue. <laughs> got a couple issues. So when you press it, when you have it down too hard, it likes to stick. And that's probably, that's what all the shaking was near the end. It kept, I kept trying to just slam it back into reverse because um, it just wouldn't, it um, kept getting stuck on. So. Direct this fucking thing again. Fucking cunt, stay still. Hold up. Let's get to come down. Oil pans down. Just gotta wait for the rear end to come down a bit more. Let's see if I can do this. There, there we go. Oh, right, that should be fine there. Now, let's unhook it once again. And this will be the final time, hopefully. Um, so. Now I'm just gonna have to move this arm. I'm not even gonna start them, I'll do it off camera. It's a bitch to start, it's a full start. Oh, come on. Alright, good enough. So, that's the other way. Um, so yeah, I'll get this out of the way now. Got the engine hoist moved here. So now what I'm going to do is I'll, what side was I working on? Oh, fuck the tree side. So what I'll do is these are cracked, all of them except for that one. So I've got to do that one and there's one up in the block, in the head, sorry. So I'll do that now. I can probably get the rattle gun onto these ones to get them out though, so I'll do that now. Um, and bring my little homemade breaker bar type shit. So 
I wasn't even meant to be having the engine in the shed this morning, but guess what? Fuck it, because it helped. See what I mean? So they were just barely sitting there. Let's try not lose these because these might actually be helpful. I'll go chuck them in me shed, brah. Ooh, fuck. All right, not bad. Let's get these other ones out, hey. Um, oh, itchy nose. So, I'm up here with spare parts. Um, this is a parts shed, me and my oh shit, <laughs> fuck, I'm trip that me and dad built. Um, well, yeah, I helped him build. Well, we didn't build the frame for it, it was originally a cubby from right over where the new woodshed is. Um, but we put walls on it and shit, and now it's just a parts shed, so. It's good enough, it's alright. Um, I am looking forward to getting these hair heads off though. Um, because I want to get to the bottom end. I reckon it's spine of bearing or something because he said it was knocking. Um, so he pulled, I think, I think it was in a uh, VR ute. It's me, the guy I bought off from Madsen. It's always, it was always on his steering kit. So... I, I think I reckon it's probably spun a bottom end bearing on the crank or whatever. And um I mean I paid twenty bucks and a set of stockies, but I got the stockies Actually no. Yeah I got, I got those stockies for nothing. So um it was and then I threw he wanted two spare tires. Yep, that cracked that side. Um You can see that's lifted it off the um, block. So yeah, and I, I literally paid. I don't pay anything for tires because I get them from the tire shops because they're um they're unroadworthy, so they're just skid tires. But yeah, fuck this. Yeah, this head's pretty heavy. What I'm gonna do is just say fuck it. Pull, bring the fucking engine crane over because it's got nothing on it so it should be light so it's hooked up they're on the lifting points which are on the heads so hopefully it just comes straight off the block no dramas come on you know you wanna oh wait i heard it crack is there more bolts somewhere? I swear to God, if there is, I am going to flip. Just kidding, I wouldn't flip because I'd still lift the motor up anyway. And then kick the shit out of it. Oh, right, this one on the side here. Please tell me it's 16 because I don't feel like... Oh, loose anyway. What a win. Because I really could not feel like I'm... But I guarantee the motor's going to fucking drop now. That this, um, when this comes out. Because this, I think this, well, I'm obviously, I should check around the moment, hey. Oh, no. Throw all my bolts in there, because I won't need them. Uh, can't see anything, so let's just go. Should we pull? Nah, that'll be right. Oh, right, my crane keeps. Yeah, it'd help if you actually tightened up the valve. Alright. Right. Fuck, we're just sort of like somehow. There is more bolts holding this on. I do not know where the fucking bolts are. This side's undone. Did I undone this side? The bolts were right in front of me and I cannot even see it. Guaranteed. That's up. I'll undo that 10mm. 
and actually let's just keep going for a minute. I heard it come undone more. Uh, fuck, if you can see. That side's coming undone. There's something up this side. Up on the top half of the motor that's not coming out. Hmm. Strange. Alright guys, so I think I've got it. I watched I pulled all the bolts out. And when I pulled the last one out, I watched the head pop up a bit. Um so I'm just gonna go clean my hands because I'm holding my phone and I'm just getting it covered in grease. So clean myself up a little bit here. Um that'll be undone in a minute though. So Good. Music off nice quick. Um, oh. Fuck me. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Um, so yeah, now we'll be able to lift this motor back up. Um, we'll hopefully lift the head up by itself. Yeah, I've double check that I've done that up yet. Come up, yes. Have a look at that. Oh, I hear bolts dropping. Oh, I hear more bolts dropping. I hear more bolts dropping. And more. There we go. Right. Oh, it's not the bolts, it's the fucking push rods. God damn it. Didn't think about that. Alright, that's up. That's good enough. Get all this stuff out of here. Oh, wow. Well. I just straight up pulled them the head up without even taking out the many push rods. So it's just all crammed the push rods through their holes. Done. So. That's all the push rods. Uh, make sure it's free. Yep, she's dangling free now. Oh, don't hit me in the head, please. <laughs> right, get this other head gasket off. There we go. Um, I really wish that I could get them. Holy shit, that's been sitting for a while. Have a look. <gasps> yeah, not bad. Um... I can't, oh, here's another push on. Hold up, wait a minute, there we go. Let's check if there's any more. I don't think there is any more in here. I'll count them soon. But I'm not concerned. Um, I just want to get these power steering pump and all that off, but it's alright. Oh! Oh shit! I just crammed the whole power steering pump into the front of the whatever the fucking thing's called. Um, what I might do is, alright, let's go get another tire. Probably one with a rim, so that. Let's get this. Alright, if anyone wants any scrap tires, let me know. They all don't hold air, by the way. Nah, just kidding, they're all going to scrap. And I almost just tripped over a chain. Rip. That's good enough. Go back up this way a bit. Oh. Once again, stuck in the ground. Going down. Get these heads in this toy off. Not on that fucking lift. Cr uh, the crane, sorry. Oh, fuck me. I'm kind of pissed that that bolt's around it because otherwise I'd be able to get the heads off. Be able to get the power steering pump off. 
you know, be able to do a lot of things. But we can't because those fucking bolts are in. And mind you, I didn't round them. Um, I did put the socket on and try to turn it and it just skipped. It just kept like skipping. So. I mean, you never know, it might have been me, but he also sold parts off of the motor too, so. And... Almost all done. Um, what else is there? I'll get this AC pump or whatever off. Um, and then I kind of want to try to get this cam out. Mm, what else? I think that, that'd be about it. Uh, there's not too much on the motor you can salvage because of the bottom end knock. Um, but you never know, I might be able to sell a little shit off it. So yeah. Whoa, fuck, I almost died. Um, right, how many bolts are holding this on? One, two, four bolts, and if I've got the right thing on the impact, where the impact go? Over here, I might just be able to. This impact's like, it's got no balls though. Oh, no one was really small size. Um, you can do up, but oh, it's 13, god damn it. Is there 13 on here? 12, 13, yep. You can do up bolts tighter with just your hands and the um, and to ratchet than what you can with that impact. It's just it's got no balls whatsoever. All right, hold up. I'll see if I can crack these. You're in an awkward spot, but this little cool thing. All right, one. I keep losing the thirteens. It's like a what are these called? Are they called like a bones wrench or something? I don't fucking know. Oh, can't. This bottom one is like the thing doesn't want to go on. Look. <coughs> Kick it, and that will always fix it. I can guarantee you. And but did it fix it this time? Get on the box. Fuck me. You've got to keep finding the right um, socket bit because it keeps coming off. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, cool. That one's off. Oh, God. I think I'm just going to have to go up to the shed and get a 13mm socket because it won't get in there without it smashing it. Guessing all my sockets are over here. 13. I can't read for shit right now. Because they're all dirty. I think my camera's a bit dirty, yeah. It made no difference. Um, so I think I'll just get, if I can get this AC pump off, then I'll stop for today because I don't want to drag this video out too much. Um, just got on the impact. Of course, I I already cracked that with the fucking tool. And look, nothing. Guys, <laughs> we'll go. Um, as I was up in the shed, I'm like, hmm, how could I get those uh intake bolts out? And that's the round bolt there. Um. I'm like, you know what? Let's try multi grip. Got it out, so let's just um, throw like a chain around here or something. I don't know. Where can I go? We'll see. I just want to get it cracked up off the top of that um, block bit because it is still sealed on there with the RTV, whatever the fuck's on it on. So I just want to get that cracked. And that, people, is how you pull your head and intake apart. 
works every time, but you also break your seal. So maybe don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, but cheers, guys. Sorry for that muck up, guys. Um, I was think uh, it was actually had an auto trans on the back of it because of the torque converter. Um, I completely forgot about because he had two v red VR utes. One was a five-speed manual, and the other one was the I think a four-speed auto. But I got the heads and shit off. Um, and then the rest of the bolts are in there and stuff. So now I'm just cleaning up. But um, I've sort of done that off camera. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.